I hope you enjoy and please hit subscribe and like for me to be able to continue to bring you art content. Good morning. It's Friday and I've been really busy this morning. I started with working on planning. So on my board, I have aprons and I have a tea gown. And I knew that the tea gown that I wanted to do is more of a conglomeration between a couple different looks. And I also knew that to make this something that I can wear at the house and be able to get work done, um, depending on the fabric that I make it out of, I'm gonna want an apron. So I have had this apron pattern for quite some time. It is the Butterick 5509. And the one that I want to make is view D in the upper corner, this one right here. I cut out all the pieces and I was looking at the pieces and looking at some historical um, apron images that I have from uh, catalogs. And I realized that I really didn't want to use all of the pieces mostly because some of the pieces are a little silly and redundant. I instead cut out one skirting pattern, one on the fold that'll be for the front piece, and then two that I'll cut um, in half, and then those will be the side pieces that I'll gather around to fit the bodice all the way. And then they had like four different pieces for the waistband, which I thought was ridiculous. So I cut one long waistband long enough that I could get ties at the end, and I really like the bodice. And what I've done for the bodice is I have pieced it from an, one old tablecloth and another old tablecloth. And I have enough from the second tablecloth to do the lining of the bodice. And I'm going to interline the bodice instead of do the bag lining the way the instructions say to do. Um, I do things a little bit differently sometimes. That's just the way I am. So you'll see some filming of that. And also I have been working on this tea gown. So. You probably saw in pictures from last week's vlog that I cut out a polonaise pattern and that is the pattern I plan to use for my tea gown or my, I'm, I'm planning on doing more of the, it's the princess cut. So these are long pieces that are fitted and then they flare out at the bottom to create the skirting. And I am planning to use that for my tea gown slash polonaise slash house wrap dress. Um, it is an inspired piece. It is not 100% accurate. So I want to caveat that, but I do a lot of that in my costuming. I am creating both uh, historically inspired clothing for daily wear because I am changing up my wardrobe. I'd like to have something that I can sit in front of the camera, be comfortable in and still get a lot of work done in, which I know requires an apron. The nice thing about the tablecloth that I'm using, it's already stained, so I don't have to worry about making sure that it stays pristine, which I love things that have a little bit of grit. So I've been working on that, and I've also been working on um, more research for my Foundations Revealed competition gown. I, again, I'm doing a lot of like looking at the pictures in the Victorian Dressmaker book. I'm looking at her patterns. I'm sizing up her patterns. Actually. I hope to size up the bustle uh, pad, the bum pad. I would like to try her bum pad. And I also have her corset cover I would like to mock up. Um, so I have a couple things in that, in that book that I'd like to play with. I also have uh, some interviews to do today and a client session. So I will try to get as much sewn done before one o'clock and that one o'clock I have an interview and then I have a client session at three. So my afternoon's already booked. And I would like to send a shout out to my son Thor. He made this weekend the best ever weekend. He stopped by and visit me on his trip across the United States with a friend of his. And so I got to meet one of his friends and I got to hang out with my son this morning and that was just the best gift anybody could give a mom. I mean, that's the best guess he, get, gift he could ever give him is to just spend some time with me. And that was just something I treasure and I wanted to send my love and a shout out to Thor. Okay, moving on. I So I'm working on the apron. I'm gonna work on this Polonaise tea gown design thing. 
and I'm gonna see if I can't actually finish a project at some point this weekend. I have several on my wall and I would like to finish one thing this weekend. I have a lot of editing to do, a lot of video editing to do, so I don't know how much time I'm gonna be able to sew. But sewing is what my channel is about, so I wanna bring you sewing. I know, I'm, I'm a little silly. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday and it's actually two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I have had a very busy morning editing video content. I also had a really bad squirrel moment and I got sidetracked by this truly Victorian um, collar. And I do not need any more projects right now, but I am absolutely obsessed with the idea of taking this middle collar and putting it on silk organza and embroidering it. I don't need another project right now, but that's the squirrel moment that I had. <laughs> I got some pictures of my apron. Um, I am going to have to shorten it. So I think I'm gonna today put some pin tucks in it really quickly just to lift it up about that much because it drags the ground. My partner is amazing and he goes, well, at least it's long enough to protect your toes from the hot water if you spill on it. I'm like, okay, well, that's a point. But I can't get up and down the stairs without falling on my face. So I'm going to shorten it. So then I will be able to mark off apron on my board today. I would really, really like to get at least some of the tea gown cut out. I have the fabric chosen. Uh, this beautiful blue fabric is a cotton shirting fabric. It's got a, can you hear that rustle? I love that sound. I'm gonna make a tea gown out of that. And I have some blue quilting cotton to, um, use for the bodice interlining. We'll see what gets done. It's a Sunday and it is hot outside. And I mean, hot for me is over 80 degrees. <laughs> I am melting. I've wet my hair now twice today and uh, it's still hot. The rabbit hole for the collar is actually because I want to make one to go on my foundations revealed costume project competition project. I am still gathering pieces of information. I have to show you this. this. See this beautiful collar? It goes underneath these really nice um, tunic style bodices. And I want to make um, maybe a front that's a little lower and I want to embroider my own collar with some silk organza. And it is not a project I need on top of my board right now, but because I know that I'm just gathering ideas, that's where we're going with that. And I am getting really close to being able to mark off this full apron. Not quite yet, but I'm getting close.
is going to be a combination vlog and post posted on an off day. I have had a lot of things that have happened in the last two weeks and that is why the whole schedule is topsy-turvy, but I am going to post anyway. decided to join me and so far apparently I'm not allowed to sew because she has commandeered my chair but that's okay so I am going to make a dress and I've been tossing and turning as to what pattern to use and I've decided that I'm going to use this simplicity 8310 it's actually a nightgown uh, robe bed jacket and pants pattern I know this is an old pattern. I don't know how old it is, but I know it's old because the cost is $5.50. Uh, $5 so I know it's probably more than 10 years ago. I'm gonna use this pattern for my dress. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm using this pattern is that it is a polyester sari fabric. Um, at least I think so. I'm actually going to do a burn test here in a minute. Uh, polyester can be very hot. So I wanted to make a dress that was cool. And here is my pattern that I copied. And it's the size small. And I've made a note that I'm going to cut one of the pattern and one of the lining. And this is the front and this is the back. And I need to just mark that. So this is the front. And this is the back. I'm going to cut these out. She's sitting on my pattern piece and is giving me weird ears. No idea what that's all about. Sarah, are you helping? Are you helping, girl? Look at you helping. I think it's the airplane. Sarah, are you helping? Sarah, are you helping? So the first step is I treated the fashion fabric um, by putting it, attaching it to the white, um, one of the lining or one of the, I'm treating it as one piece of fabric. So I sewed all this together and now I'm going to follow the directions on the pattern, which say to sew the front and the back yoke together and then uh, you can put piping on it if you want, which I'm not going to. And then I'm going to uh, sew the lining in and turn it right side out. And then I'm going to go back and gather all my pieces together and then sew them into the yoke.
I hope you enjoy the making of the apron and the making of the dress in this video. I am, I've been very busy this morning. Good morning, it's Friday. And I hope you enjoy uh, all the things 